What is up, my bright shining lights? And welcome to a uh, video that is so bright on the world. I, I love doing that. I'm gonna get seizure complaints. I'm gonna get seizure complaints. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um, All right, guys, let's go ahead and finish this off, and then we can get right on going to today's video and trying to figure out what to do for today's video. See? It wasn't so bad. Look at this. Anyway, uh, let's go figure out what to do. Hmm, what should we do? Oh, a video game classics video? Oh, yes, we should totally do... <laughs> I, I, I caught myself before I coughed. See? Yeah. But no, seriously, let's do a video game classics video because let's go ahead and take a look at a puzzle game ladies and gentlemen. Oh, hey, a Tato puzzle game. Oh, that's right. Aha, I have Title Legends 2. I, that's where I can find this game. Bingo. What is this? Title Legends 2? Yes, I, uh, gotta... Woo. Ah. Okay. <laughs> ah. Title Legends 2. So let's, let's, let's look at what's in the Title Legends 2 uh, situation here. All right, um, Cleopatra Fortune. Yeah, I was beating around the bush, but ha <laughs> ha! You know you gotta get the you know you gotta get the expedition for the video, yo! <laughs> okay, let's keep right on going. Oh, and sorry that fan was on. You know, summer and all that. Oh man, look at that breeze. Yeah, that's summer for you. Anyway, let's keep right on going. Okay, so Cleopatra Fortune. Oh, hey, there. Nice have the, put up a screenshot of that game here. You're doing me a favor, guys. Okay, so Cleopatra Fortune is a puzzle game that stars Taito's lovely Patraco. So, yes, who is Patraco? If you have played Pucci Karat and entered in that uh, secret code, you probably got a glimpse of her. All right, simple as that. But however, Patraco had her own game called Cleopatra Fortune, and it is a puzzle game where it is centered around ancient Egypt. And the idea of it is to become kind of unique compared to Tetris. Okay, yeah, compare it to Tetris, say it's the same as Tetris, but... Give me a second. But say it's the same as Tetris, but however, it plays heavily differently from Tetris. And that's where I am about to show you. And uh, yeah, let's go fire up the game and, and show what I'm and and I could give much of a visual elaboration. Let, let's let's go ahead and, and and let's go ahead and do things. So yeah, let's go. Let's let, let's go. Let's do things. All right. Now let's go ahead and uh, load this up on the PS2 and get it all figured out. Ah. Okay. Don't care. All right. Okay, here we go. Sorry, you won't get to hear the... Oh, you get to hear the... Oh, you get to hear the... And then... Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> I love it. Gotta love that. All right. So now we found ourselves at Cleopatra Fortune. Whoa, that is some nice, fancy-looking intro right there. Oh, wow, that is crazy. And I gotta love that sound chip. Oh, yeah, that's nice. All right. 
So let's go ahead and insert our credit and... Yeah, let's go one player. We're not playing. Now we'll start off on easy. So let me go ahead and run you through the basics of Cleopatra Fortune. Now, like Tetris, you can get things cleared out in a straight line. But however, that's not how things work in Cleopatra Fortune. Yes, you, you can get line clears in Cleopatra Fortune. But that's not where the game shines. That's not where you get your scores in Cleopatra Fortune. Now, another thing to keep in mind around here, yes, there are perfects. And not only do they give you bonus points, but they give you character artwork for Patraco. The character who is pretty much cheering on for you on the uh, left screen. The left bottom side of the screen. That's right. Let's go ahead. So... When it comes to treasure in Cleopatra Fortune, you have to bury the treasure if you want to clear off any treasure. Now, you don't have to worry about straight lines or anything, and that's going to be wonderful. Okay, so we will go ahead and get things going straight. And boom, and yeah. If you want to see, you can, only, you can also clear treasure by absolutely burying it with the blocks. So the more treasure that is buried under the blocks, the more of the clear, the more of the points. And that's, uh, that, that's the scoring system for Cleopatra Fortune. All right, simple, right? But you have to keep in mind the curveballs. Mm-hmm. That's right. There's mummies. And, uh, and there's different kinds of blocks like we've just seen at the end of our introducing. I think near the end of our introducing. But yeah, the, the shapes of the blocks, they vary. There's more variations than what we just saw. Not only that, there's mummies. And how can we get rid of those mummies? Well, to get rid of those mummies, you have to bury the mummies with treasure and make sure no blocks are blocking each other. So that means you have to bury the treasure with the mummy in order to basically get rid of the mummy. Simple as that, right? Let's get right on going further into the score run and uh, let, let's all enjoy life. See what I mean by there's gonna be curveballs? See, look, I got hit with these goddamn variances. Oh man, this is not... Okay, here we go. Now we're back into the fray. Oh, yes. And now uh, let's see if we can get a perfect through there. And we will go ahead and do that. I think we got everything set up. Oh, whoa. Hey, what is that? Did we just saw? Uh, oh, hey. Uh, yeah, I mean, got to get your education. Got to get your education. Hey! Whoa. Oh, damn. That, 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 that. Yep, she really going for waifu of the year right there. Woo! Damn, that's a more. Yep, she really going for waifu, man. She really going for waifu. Anyway, let's get right on going. Cleopatra Fortune's gameplay mostly revolves around the idea of burying treasures. Line clears are possible like Tetris, however, the treasure burial mechanic is the star of the game. If you end up clearing your game board, you're going to get a perfect bonus that not only rewards you with bonus points, but also gives you bonus artwork of Patraco. The higher the points, the more the artwork differentiates. There is a power-up I was able to get a hold of, which is this flashing pyramid. However, if you landed on something in the board you want gone, not one, but all of what you don't want in the board vanishes. As mentioned later in the game, mummies will appear and the way to get rid of them is to bury them with treasure. But you can also do that line clear with mummies according to a flashback I had just now. Good timing for that flashback though. Hm. Gotta love that flashbacks, man. Where did I find this game? Well, I found it in uh, Titan Legends 2 for both PC and PlayStation 2. 
However, I conducted research about the game through eBay, and I was able to confirm that there is a PlayStation 1 version and an allegedly Japanese-exclusive Sega Saturn version. The intro sequence is super fancy. However, the background music playing while I was having a blast became really catchy and brilliantly orchestrated. Patraco, who is the star of the game, becomes enjoyable to have around, especially when it comes to her antics and her cutesy sounds. The design of the game not only remains to carry that visual representation throughout, but becomes strong for its time. The gameplay mechanics and Patraco are actually the best of the game. The gameplay mechanics are really intriguing and executed very well. There is nothing I can nag on about the game. So, hey, I really like it. There's nothing wrong with the game that I found so far. Wow. If you're looking for a uh, puzzle game or a Tetris clone that's going to definitely stand out from all the other puzzle games, Cleopatra Fortune is definitely that game. This game should be re-released on the latest consoles. You cannot miss out on this game. That is all I gotta say, and give Cleopatra Fortune a shot. It is definitely worth your time. That's all, and I will be looking forward to you in the next video. I'm sounding all goofy all of a sudden, sorry. I'll see you in the next video, though.